Hey folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Today I'm going to show you 14 ways to practice whiskey before breakfast. For, why 14 ways? I don't know. That's just what I wound up with. So I'm not going to actually show you the tune. I have another lesson on that. In fact, it might have been the very first lesson I ever posted was whiskey before breakfast. So, but what I'm going to do is just play little parts of the tune and then practice them in different ways. So I'm going to start with the first quarter of the tune. I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways you can play that. So the first thing we can do is chaining. We can start with one or two notes and then keep adding another note and keep making this little practice piece longer. side variation that I just thought of is that you can always end each bit of the chain on a throwaway bow. Just kind of, it's, throwaway bow is a way to bring out tone. Okay, next variation is to take a little piece of that chain and loop it. Maybe there's a part of that chain that needs work. So like the, the very first four notes. good string crossing practice and fingering, especially if you speed it up. And maybe you'll want to practice some kind of bowing, other bowing with it like slurs. Let's loop a different part of the chain. Let's loop this part. Okay, so now let's loop that little section of the chain in different ways. Let's do it with staccato. So this will be our, I don't know, third way to practice it. Or with plucking. Next thing we could do with the same piece of the chain is all down bows. So it's gonna be a little harder, so you may want to do it slowly. Take note that you wouldn't actually do that in the tune, play it all down bows, but it's a great practice way to develop your skills, your bowing skills. And you could also do it all up bows. Little circles. Or little bounces. So next thing we'll do is flatten the rhythm. So instead of playing eighth notes and quarter notes, We're going to do all the same length, all quarter notes. So that'll be really strange. It won't be technically hard. It'll be more like mentally hard, but it would be a good challenge for you. And it'll get you to open your kind of musical mind to creativity with the tunes. Being able to do that, we can now stack variations onto that flattened, uh, that flattened variation. Now what we'll do is add a rhythm to that. We're going to add a dotted, uh, we're going to add two notes. But we're going to do a long short or a dotted eighth note and a sixteenth note. Now let's look at the second quarter of the tune, which begins like this. And let's take this piece, and our next practice variation is we're going to take that little pattern and then extend it. So we're going to go... So if you notice little patterns in the music, see if you can then take those and almost apply them to a scale, or at least continue them in some way. Now let's return to the original first quarter, 
and we're going to transpose that up a fifth. So that means we, instead of starting G1, we start D1. Now let's transpose that piece up an octave. So what we just did, when we transpose it up a fifth, it was the exact same fingering. We just started it on D1 instead of G1. Now we're gonna transpose up an octave. Instead of starting G1, we're gonna start open A, and we'll have a whole new fingering. So this is more challenging mentally. So if that's hard, then start with one little piece. You might want to start with. And then maybe combine it with chaining to build that part out. And another way to think about chaining, which was the first practice variation, is you don't necessarily have to do every single note. You could maybe chain, play one little bit, then play another couple notes, and then another couple notes. Just play with how you use this practice variation. So the next two practice variations are gonna be even more challenging mentally. So the first one that I wanna show you is I want you to play the first quarter of the A part and then the first quarter of the B part. So here we go. B. So why do that? Because it will help you to remember the whole tune. If you just can remember that first little bit of the A part really well, and the, the beginning of the B part really well, and you put them together like that, it's gonna really seal in that memory in your brain. So the next practice variation is to play every other bar. And it's gonna be a little challenging. It will help if you have sheet music. I'm just gonna do it and just check it out. so on. So this is a way to kind of challenge yourself and to really do something, make it a little bit harder so that when you return to the basic tune, it's going to see, feel a lot easier. This is called desirable difficulty. And I have a whole lesson on that. I did a, a, an hour long workshop and then I also did a lesson that I posted on YouTube on it. So the 14th and final practice variation for Whiskey Before Breakfast is to alternate between playing the melody and playing the chords. So you may first want to figure out the chords. Let's do it for the second chord of the A part. So the chords for that, I'm gonna make them rather simple. Just G, open G and D is your G chord. Your D chord, I'll add G1 and open D. And A chord will be G1 and D1. If that's hard, you could do D1 and A1 for that A chord. All these are major chords, G, D, and A major. So then, once I figure out the chord progression, by the way, I have a whole series of lessons on how to play chords on my in the Fiddlehead course, and how to play chord progressions, and how to play on songs. Okay, back to it. So I'm gonna first just play the chords. G, D, A. Practice that until it flows and it feels good. And then we will alternate between doing the melody for that section, that's the A part second quarter, and then the chords. Here we go. And as I'm playing it, see if you can start to hear the chords when I'm playing the melody and vice versa. See if you can start to hear the melody in the chords. Okay, here we go.
right, so the singing and playing is a whole other thing to practice. I was just doing that to kind of help you hear and see if you could hear the melody over the chords. So anyway, those are our roughly, maybe I forgot, did I get everything? I'm just looking at my list. I think I got everything. So it's 14 ways to practice with you before breakfast. There's hundreds of ways you could do it. I think that you could take one tune and play it for an hour and be completely engaged and interested in it if you have enough tools and ways to practice it. Okay, so let me know if that was helpful, if that was fun. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you soon on Fiddlehead. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video clocking. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.